And now, your first alert five weather. Hey everybody, I just kind of wanted to run through how crazy of a day was. It was yesterday and kind of where some of those fires had burned. Now, we talked about this in a little bit of our news meeting this morning. Usually in Colorado Springs, we have this discussion, really everybody around the front range. It's the west side of town against the wood or against the foothills. You have to worry about fires, but check out. I mean, every single one of these, except for I guess, well, no, yeah, that was all east of the interstate. I was going to say the Nevada fire was just west, but no, it was every fire in Colorado Springs was east of the interstate. The one out near the airport, the Altaris fire, was the biggest one in town, but then the one we're still seeing some smoke from and monitoring is the fire five and a half miles west of Cripple Creek called the High Park Fire. Now today through the rest of the afternoon, we are seeing sporadically strong wind gusts and humidity on the low end that'll be anywhere from about five or seven percent up to 15 percent. The winds are kind of generally stay kind of west and southwest, gusting anywhere from 20 to 40 miles per hour. The big concerns we have today would be new ignition of a fire or that teller fire doing a flare up. But so far, it seems to be okay. I know they are throwing everything they've got at it in Teller County. Red flag warnings extend from El Paso County to Denver, the plains out east, but we then also have a lot of them in our southern mountains and valleys. And this is, or at least this should be a cam review. Here we go. See that smoke right here? That is the fire uh, over in Teller County. So that's that High Park fire. Now the nice thing here, it, it's not a very big plume of smoke. So it is still burning. There are still hot spots there, but it's not that tremendous plume that came into El Paso County yesterday. So there's a lot to keep an eye on out there. We can go ahead and roll over to current conditions. Still seeing the gusts anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour, at least near the fire. This is a pretty rough area as far as wind sensors go. Cripple Creek is east, but there is just nothing to really grab here. So we're taking the data as close as we can find it. Wind gusts through the rest of the region. Colorado Springs is windy. The winds have been gusting between about 10 or excuse me, about 20 to 30 miles per hour, a little bit more out of the south through El Paso County, but the winds have been more west and southwesterly over Teller County. So a bit of a wind change there from noon through the afternoon. So now through the end of the day, the winds will stay pretty gusty out there, falling back to the lower threshold after six o'clock. So they will die down a little bit later tonight. And it's pretty warm outside. We're in the 70s, but we're going to try to head to the 70s and a couple ladies out there through the afternoon. That does bring us to your extended forecast. So for Colorado Springs, we are in the 80s from Saturday through Sunday. Going to be looking at a chance or two of storms out into next week. And we're dry other than a really, really weak chance of storms on Monday. Pueblo, I think by and we're hot going forward. Now, granted, the weekend's not too bad, but next week there's a lot of 90s out there, especially on Thursday. So keep that in mind. It can be windy with fire danger today, warmer through the weekend with some 80s, if not 90 next week. And Woodland Park to give us a small chance of an isolated thunderstorm on Monday. And we have got warmer weather next week. So just a lot to track going forward from here.